Here we are on a Tuesday. This is shaping up to be an incredible week. I wanted to share something important, well, what I feel important with you today, and that is the idea of living right now, living in the present moment. How much of your time would you say that you spend thinking about what's already happened, the past? You know, what happened yesterday, what happened last week, how that might affect what's going to happen tomorrow. And then, you know, how much of your time on the opposite side of the spectrum do you spend thinking about what's going to happen in the future? Let your imagination run wild about what could be. Right now, put it in the context of your kids. How much of that time are you spending in the present moment thinking about what happened yesterday with the kids? What grades they got in school? What happened out on the field? Yada, 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 with the homework. How much of your time that you spend with your kids are you thinking about their future? You know, what's going to happen after middle school? What classes are they going to get into in high school? What is that going to mean for the college future? How much of that time is really spent that could be focused on right now? Right? Right now, the present moment. And believe me, I am a huge proponent of planning. I take time every single week to sit down, put a plan together for the week. But then when it comes to right now, like right now here in front of the camera, I can't be anywhere else but right here, right now, mentally, and of course physically. But mentally, I've got to be right here in the present moment if I'm going to be able to give you the best of what I have. If I'm thinking about tomorrow's show, if I'm thinking about next week or I didn't like the fact that yesterday didn't go well, I can't give you the quality stuff. Okay? So being present in the moment is so important for two reasons. Number one, you're modeling for your kids what it means to live right now, to be fully engaged in the moment. They get that from you. If you're off here, there, and everywhere in your brain, when you're with them, they're going to see that. That becomes a habit in their mind. We can't enjoy the present moment because we're either thinking about what happened yesterday or we're thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow. We can't enjoy it. The other idea is, folks, it's going to pass you by. Your kids are going to pass you by. They're going to be gone. You spend so much time thinking about what could happen or what did happen that all of a sudden you look down one day, your kids are gone. They've grown up, they're out of the house. And this happens, you ask your friends with older kids, this happens like that. So that's the second big reason. You've gotta be focused here right now on the present. Get in there, get with them, do all the planning up ahead of time. If there's things coming up on the calendar that you are concerned about, by all means, take time during the week to sit down and do that. But then, when you are with the kids, 100% focus on being right here, right now with them. And that will rub off on the kids too. They will see how fully engaged you are in being there, being being present with them. Okay? Great habits for them to be learning. All right, that is the Tuesday show. See you back tomorrow for Wednesday.